guys. So, I have some foundations. Here they are. Did you guys know that Mixed Chicks has foundations and bronzers? Let's test them out. I think right now I want to just open these up and see what the colors are. What I think when I look on the outside of the box, like you have all the information about Mixed Chicks here. But when you flip it on its side, it tells you the color. And I'm sorry if my lights are reflecting on this. But this one is called Sultry Sand. There is a Heavenly Hazel. Timeless Tawny. Banging Bronze. And Alluring Almond. On the directions, it states to apply after cleansing skin, blend outward with foundation, follow with bronzer. So let's just open the Alluring Almond. Let's see what color works best for me. This is what it looks like when you open it up. Really cute, really portable, which is great for my new travel lifestyle. On one side, it tells you what's the foundation. This one is the smoothing foundation. And on the opposite side, it has the shimmering bronze. So let's start with the foundation. This is what it looks like. And it doesn't have any smell. And you just twist it up. If you're like me and you're kind of a hoarder of foundations, the only way I know what color this is, is to see the shade on the outside of the box. So I would rather have it somewhere down in here. So if you are like me and you do have multiple colors, you know which one works. But I'm just gonna pop this on my chin. Whoa, look at there. This one is the Lauren Almond. And I'm just gonna blend it out on my chin. Like that is really, really cute. Very hydrating. It's super duper wet. Super duper wet. Can you see that color though? She's cute. So right now I'm thinking the Alluring Almond is amazing. And I know you girls are waiting. If I flip this over and I have the bronzing side, like she's really cute too. I'm just going to pop that on the high point of my cheek. Oh, she's cute. A cute highlight. Just a quick something in a stick. Quick, quick, quick something in a stick. I think it would be very remiss for me to think that I could find a shade better match than this. But just for the sake of, since I do have the full line, let's try it. This is the Bangin' Bronze. And that foundation looks a little bit more like a contour. So I'm going to pop it right here. So you can see how deep that one is. Too dark, right? Too dark. But I think I might use that one as a contour shade. And if you want to see the highlight for it. Like, she's cute. She's real cute. I like the highlight stage. So I think I would actually use this as kind of a contour for myself. But my Richard and Tone girls, you might actually need that as a foundation. Now, the great thing is as the summer progresses, I do tend to deeper in hue. So having the Alluring Almond and the Bang & Bronze, having those in my makeup bag for myself, that might be a good way for me to mix two different products and come up with the right shade. So... I'm just going to leave that on my face. The next one is Timeless Tawny. I think I'm going to put that on this side of the face. Oh, she's cute. I can see me using this one underneath the eye area. Just as a little bit of brightness. And I'm going to pop this right next door. And you can see that the bronzer on that one went a little bit more intense. So, think of it this way when you go a little bit normal or lighter in your foundation you can go a little bit deeper in the bronzer when you go a little bit deeper in the foundation you're going to go a little bit lighter in the bronzer because it's almost like reverse contouring let me know if you guys want me to do a full video on reverse contouring like so what i would tell you about this shade timeless tawny i would actually probably keep it in my bag as well but for me i would pop it right underneath the eye area and then I could almost use maybe the bronzer if I needed a little bit more enhancement um, down the bridge of my nose and places like that. Maybe even back into my hairline. So next up is going to be Heavenly Hazel. And I think I'm going to put Heavenly Hazel on this side. What do we say? Okay. So Heavenly Hazel looks like so. She has a lot more red. 
Heavenly Hazel. To me, Heavenly Hazel looks like she would be maybe like a NC45 or NW45 and Mac, maybe even NW50. Yeah, just thinking comparison sake. And look at there, there again, the darker the foundation, the lighter the bronzer, okay? And last up is going to be the sultry sand. I'm going to go to this side because just the name sand to me means that it has a little bit more yellow. Hello, girls. I'm clearly yellow. Oh, she's cute. What I tell you, has a lot of yellow. And on camera, she's cute. She's cute. Oh, and this bronzer. Oh, she's cute. I like her. So, I'm going to clean my face off and I'm going to come back and we're going to do a quick makeup routine. How does that sound? And I just wipe those off with a quick towel. And for the sake of, I'm going to refresh my face. Right now with my Mario Badescu spray, just to kind of reactivate my moisturizer. This foundation to me feels very, very slick. So I am just going to use a little bit of my Estee Lauder. This is the Illuminate and Radiant Perfecting Primer. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this on my hands. And you can see how that gives me a cute little illumination. And if you've been following me on Snapchat, you guys, you know that I had the worst breakout ever from a drugstore primer slash foundation. So I'm going to stick with skincare that I know. First, all, I'm just going to grab my color wheel with Ben Nye. I'm just going to grab just a little taste of this and try to eliminate a little bit of this dark circles that I'm getting right here. All right, so we have done a slight bit of color correcting, so I'm not trying to get the makeup to do something that's just really not designed to do. I like the sultry almond, so I think I am just going to apply this to my face. Like, it's typically my color. And this makeup is so sheer that I'm just going to go ahead and just go gaga. Okay? Like, yeah. Sue me. I'm going to grab one of my crown brushes this is the ss014 i'm just going to spray this with a little bit of the Estee Lauder setting spray and i just want to really wet the brush i want it to be like a beauty blender on the stick and i'm just going to pop this in she's cute i can already tell she's cute i like the hydration in it I'm loving the hydration in this makeup. It gives it a lot of slip. So you can see what just really, really happened. Like it looks like second skin, but look at how it's giving me that beautiful, illuminated, like girl next door look. So I think what I'm going to do is pop a little bit here. And I like just the little twist up applicator. Like I'm feeling it. Just in my mind, this is the type of makeup that I would take with me on vacation. I'm going to take a Royal Lanical brush and I'm just going to kind of tap that into that Ben Nye color corrector just to brighten it back up. Can you see what just happened though? Like it's giving me like this really flawless complexion without being so freaking cakey. Oh my God. And those of you that watch my videos, my YouTube videos, you know that I freaking love a matte foundation. Like, I'm really not a fan of slick makeups. Like, to me, they just leave too much room for error for me. But on my low-key days, this is one of those makeups that I think that I would actually just put on just to be chilling with. You know? She's cute. She's real cute. Very good coverage. And of course, I just slathered as much of it on as I wanted to. So that's another great thing. The color is phenomenal. So it's not oxidizing at all. Like, can you tell that it's not oxidizing? But just because I have it, I'm going to do the sultry sand. Like, I want to see if I can make this a little bit brighter right here. Like a concealer, right? 
but at the same time i'm using the exact same formula of the foundation so it's going to look a lot less cakey i'm gonna pull it down the bridge of my nose a little bit on that forehead and i think i'm just going to do a little bit of this a little bit of reverse contouring same brush i'm going to tap that in Try and keep this out your eye. I am feeling this eye right here. I think I've gotten a little bit in there and where it doesn't smell like it has a scent. With it being so hydrated, I might want to stop right below those tiny fine lines, which I think is a real bad habit of mine. I take my foundation all the way into my fine lines. And um, sometimes when I have a product that's very, very emollient, it does irritate my eyes. And this eye right here is getting a little bit irritated, so keep it directly out of your eyes this little brush right here is working it out and because I don't leave my house without setting my face with my RCMA no color powder I'm going to shake a little bit in my hand I'm going to grab my MAC 159 brush I really do want to set my full face so I'm going to grab my tapered face brush this is the f25 this one is by sigma i'm just going to do a quick light dusting now notice i'm tapping this because this foundation is so emollient i really think if you were to start to push and rub you're going to move the makeup so set it down and set it and leave it alone but look at that it still kept that same really really pretty opulence i'm loving that okay so far so good i'm not feeling my face itch i'm not feeling it tingle or burn so so far so good now i think i want to grab just for a little bit of contour i want to grab this banging bronze or do i want to grab or do i want to grab timeless tawny let's see i'm going to grab the banging bronze So creamy though. Same contour brush that I always use. Got real techniques. I'm just gonna kind of blend this in. So easy to blend out though, you guys. This is so easy. If you have oily skin, this might not be the makeup for you. Because my skin is dry and it's giving me a glow, honey. And just in my experience with clients that have oily skin, this one being so slick, you might like that highlighter, but you really need to mattify your face. And I'm not thinking you're gonna get the best results with this one just because subconsciously, most of my clients that have oily skin don't like oily skin. But my skin being dry, I mean, this is giving me a lot of blend ability. It's very emollient. It keeps, it's keeping my skin from looking really dull. And I can go in and just kind of create that customized beat, honey. Can you see what happened? Yes. So right now I can tell that the makeup is not settling. Like I've kind of set my entire face with the RCMA powder. The makeup still feels a little damp, like I can feel it on my face. It's pretty, but I can feel it on my face. I'm going to grab my RCMA powder. This is in the shade Banana. And I'm just going to lightly dust this along my highlight areas. And what I'm trying to do is get a little bit more hold to the makeup. Like I want it to feel subtle. set the contour zones another bit now another bit now contour palette just using those same colors and just redefining my contour zones because as always you guys should know this everywhere that I go light I set light everywhere that I go deep and I want to set I set deep 
So now you can actually see how the foundation is actually setting. Like on camera, it looks really, really pretty. Can I still feel it? Uh, I can still kind of feel it. But a lot of my girls that like these little quick twist up type processes, they like something that's it's very airy looking. This is going to accommodate that. So I'm going to try and finish the rest of my makeup really, really quick. Let's see what time is it. Ugh, where's my phone when I need it? Usually it's ringing. Where is it? Okay, here it is. Right now it's 1.36. I'm going to come back to you guys in just a moment after I finish my makeup. So let's get to that. Alright guys, so this is the finalized look. But as far as the foundation, like, what do we think? What do we think? Let's see, right now it is 151. And I'm completely done with this. I'm going to grab some earrings. I'm going to go about my day. And I think I'm just going to come back at the end of the afternoon to let you know what I think about this makeup. Now, hey guys, so I'm back. It's now about 7.15. And honestly, we are headed to dinner. But I want to pop on camera really quick to kind of let you see how this makeup is faring. And I'm going to go ahead and admit my fault. Like, I really, really have been skeptical all day with this foundation like literally I've been checking in on snapchat letting my viewers know what the foundation is doing and I have a confession normally when I put anything that has this amount of illumination to the skin I break out like it starts very very small it goes into welts and then it goes into a full on high fest on my face uh uh but this foundation it stayed glowy it stayed textured to my skin like I can still feel it but it didn't do anything it didn't slip it didn't slide like there is from what I can tell there's no break in this foundation I am going to say if you have oily skin this makeup is not going to be your friend because I don't have pores I have like almost like poreless skin and I can see every tiny little every little indention of skin I can see it I do have it underneath my eye area and I'm really surprised like it didn't really in abundance settle into my fine lines like I'm just like freaked out by this because it makes me have to rethink everything that I thought I knew about makeup every time I do one of these foundation reviews so thank you guys for pushing me to continue to do my tested invest series and this is what I'm thinking with the foundation right now now I'm very impressed. I have to tell you, I'm very, very impressed. Do I think this is going to be one of the makeups that I would call a holy grail? I don't know, because I'm typically just a matte makeup lover. But days that I'm just chilling, like, I can see me wanting to try this again just to see if I can even make it a little bit more stable. I would probably try it just to see what friends say about it. Like, I'm going to wear this to dinner. I'm going to see what my makeup girlfriend thinks about it. Like, I'm, I, I think at this point, I'm just going to pop on a lip like I'm not going to even remotely like powder this although I want to powder this so bad so I'm going to grab one of my I'm going to grab one of my reds by Glamorous Chicks and I'm just going to turn this into a night look like low key dinner I'm going to taste this makeup for the rest of the night so I'll be back this evening after a full days of wear and we will give you guys my finalized commentary but spoiler alert i think i like it all right guys so i am officially back it's now 10 20. i have physically had this makeup on literally all of nine hours and like so yeah any doubt that i had that this very emollient rich radiant foundation was going to bond to my skin any thought that I had that I just really knew in my brain that it was not going to perform up to my liking like just by wearing it I just completely debunked the mist so I will like to say I'm giving this foundation two thumbs up the color range I will say is definitely designed for richer in tone complexions it's very rich and very emollient like there is no other way for me to say it but at the end of the day it didn't break me out 
um i had several compliments on the makeup like people really stated your skin looks amazing so that's always a good testament to an amazing foundation because it looks like second skin and um yeah i'm completely impressed with the formulation now it's time for you guys to comment down below what do you think of the mixed chicks foundation is it one of the new foundations that you'll have to have in your arsenal for spring summer 2017 you guys know i want to know so comment down below you guys know i love to connect with you so make sure you connect with me follow me on all my social media links to never miss another upload make sure you click that bell honey because youtube is tripping and if you don't want to miss out on all of my new uploads and you don't want to miss me in this whole world of youtube click that bell so you always get a notification when i upload another video until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hugs and kisses. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.